Hey, what is up, gang? It is Botbender Orange, and today, something a little bit different. We are going to do a quick review of uh, Magic Square's um, Masterpiece Optimus Prime 2.0. And um, hopefully, after watching this video, I can help you make an informed buying decision if you don't um, own them yet. Yeah? So, full disclosure, um, I wanted to let you know that um, I have owned every Optim Masterpiece Optimus Prime that has come out, um, you know, third party, first party, whatever. And um, this guy's pretty close to MP44 in terms of aesthetics. I, I would say he's probably superior in certain areas like that, the cleanup over here in a lot of areas. But some other areas where he suffers, like this, overall hollowness and, and perhaps some of the shallow uh, engraving on the parts and stuff. But, yo, he's a contender. He is a contender. I would say his biggest draws and flaws are the fact that the plastic is really thin. And the engravings that go on each of the, the parts, the panels, they're also really, really thin. Like, um, you see, it doesn't really go down deep, and that's fine. It doesn't have to go down that deep, but um, still, I think perhaps I'm just too used to seeing some of this stuff. The, the line work is really, really hard, like hard engraving, very, very solid, you know? And... Um, I think it would have been nice on this guy too. But at the same time, his overall aesthetic is a lot of soft like line work. And I'm not sure if because they're trying to, I don't know, hit some type of like cartoon tune aesthetic or uh, something like that. Um, I don't know. Yeah. But I do wish the engravings were a little bit more pronounced. I will say that. But overall, it's okay. Um, this area is interesting. This knee, so, so he has a knee bend and that's fine. And that's cool, but you see how it just kind of breaks apart? It ruins the mold, whereas MP, MP44 is a little bit curved over here. Um, the double knee works fine. This, though, I, I do wish it kind of, like, extended out like MP44's does to, to bridge this gap. But, again, not hateful. Hey, shout out Bobby Skullface. This is the first person I heard. Yeah, it's not hateful. Not hateful. Um, but, anyway, not hateful um, at all. Uh, in terms of transformation, there's a lot of things that are similar to MP44 TE01, but a lot of it is simplified, I think, in smart, intelligent ways. Um, but yeah, it's it's still a little bit convoluted, not that intuitive. Yeah, it transforms similar to how you would expect an Optimus Prime to transform. I mean, kind of similar, I mean, throughout time. But um, yeah, they do some interesting things, yeah. I do like the backpack. When I look at it, I'm like, yo, that's Prime's backpack. I can recognize this, like, very, very easily. It's, it's very nice. And if we look at it side by side, yo, this dude's going camping, dude. He's, you know, he's backpacking. He, he, he is, dude, what is his diaper over here and like all this? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love MP44. He's really, really nice. But this guy addresses like a lot of those things, you know? But uh, like I said, he does fall short in certain areas. Like he's really light. He weighs like, it was like 11.5 or close to like 12 ounces, whereas MP44 is 17 or 18 ounces or something like that. And so that's a pretty significant difference, you know? That That is like, let's see, that's six more ounces. That's like 50% heavier. Yeah, if you put into the, the the percentage, that's, um, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, look at that quick math. Yeah, Asian. No, I'm just kidding, dude. That's pretty easy. Um, But um, <laughs> he, uh... oh, wait, what? Am I supposed to put these back? Nah, I'm not quite sure. But he's good. And like I said, and like he has matrix and like the articulation and everything is fine. Okay. And so if you are, if you have never purchased any Masterpiece Optimus Primes and you want to dip your toe into it and you don't want to spend too much, I don't think this guy's too bad. I don't think he's too bad at all, actually. But if you're going to transform him, be very, 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 very delicate um, when you handle him. Yeah. Because like... Everything is really thin. It's like thin plastic model quality. You, you know those like hobby kits that you would get and they're kind of – and like the plastic is really thin because it allows home users to like manipulate it. It's either at that level or like just a shade above. And you can see there's not a lot of polish on it. Like if you look at make make toys, some of their – like their stuff is – um their, their plastic is polished. Yeah, well, at least according to my friend who, who's in manufacturing design. He says they polish their plastic and that's why it has this nice uh, look on it. They get rid of all their sprue marks and shout out to sprue mark uh, – uh, 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 sprue mark society. Yeah, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Yeah, shout out. Um, but you can see they haven't done a lot of polishing or, or cleaning up. They're still like – oops. Sprue mark society. I think that was – that was the name, right, homie? I apologize if I got that wrong. Um, you can still see their sprue marks here. 
it, it hasn't been cleaned up. Um, there's not there there isn't any flash per per, per se, but um, yeah, they could have put a little bit more polish on it. Um, I wish they could have also um, thickened some of the plastic. They, it, it seems like it, they scaled it from the same like density from like from like the legend scale, and they just made it appropriately bigger, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Or, or maybe they just could have used a better plastic. I, I really don't know. I'm not a manufacturing guy, but everything does fit well. Um, and like one of the things I hated about T01 and MP04 was that, dude, I felt like it was just like a pinata, just like waiting to burst. You know, you just look at it wrong and it's going to be like, blah. But like this dude doesn't have that. Um, the legs compact nice. Everything fits nicely in there. Same thing with the chest. Uh, the back, everything fits really, really nice. I don't know if that's because they used a thin plastic or they did good um, engineering, but everything fits really, really nice um, and it's secure. Just wish the toes were a little bit. They, they, they kind. Of, he kind of tilts back a little bit, but um, yeah. So I wish the tolerance here was a little bit better, but I could probably improve that with some like um, some Kiki or something like that. So as far as articulation goes. It's all the same stuff, up, down, left, right. Uh, MP44 does have the deeper, um, the, the neck down. I like that a lot. Yeah, like he's looking down at like little spike or whatever. Uh, he can't do that, okay? So there, sure, fine, MP44 uh, does win. Um, oh, the other thing that I was mentioning about him not being totally cleaned up, like, dude, he has some, I don't know, I know I shouldn't let it bother me, but like, did you see that? Uh, it's hard to see. There are some like sprue work that they didn't quite clean up behind the mask. You see that? Dude, it bothers me so much. But that's only if I'm like intently staring at him like close up. If, when he's on my shelf, like I, I don't really notice him. Um, oh, that's bad. Anyway, so he has, he's, he's really well articulated. Like anything MP44 can do, most likely he can do, except with the exception of that kind of like head down thing. Um, no, nah. but yeah, he can get into really, really dynamic poses. Like he has crazy ab crunch as well. Um, you, you know, he can do the full, I have dishonored our family, uh, you know, a Asian bow, like 90 degrees. Wait, how did I do that before? Yeah. <laughs> like he's like, oh, so sorry, you know, <laughs> so, so sorry. Um, yeah, so he can do all of that. Um, the chest opens up, you know, there's you know, the matrix inside and yeah, it's all nice. It's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's what you'd expect. Yeah. It's, it's what you'd expect. It looks, it looks fantastic, dude. Um, there's even these little green bits over there to try to maintain like a lot of like movie fidelity. I think that's really awesome. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really thin. They're really, really thin. I am worried over time what might happen as, uh, I mean, as long as I don't manipulate and mess around it too much, I think you should be okay because I've had some robot model kits that I've played with posed over time and some of that plastic warped or, or broke on me. And, you know, I'm not a particularly aggressive, uh, toy handler. So, um, yeah, he, um, he has similar like leg forward, like, uh, you know, MP, MP44, it, it, this thing rotates back and he can do this like Bruce Lee Kung Fu cross kick or something. Um, but when you do put it back though, you see it doesn't return to its normal state. Uh, and so you, you, you gotta kind of help it by like pushing it forward. And then while holding it, you gotta push the leg back, but it's all right. Very, very minor. Um, but yeah, he, he has full, you know, back forward uh, mobility. Um, he has thigh rotation up at the top. He doesn't have it separately at the knees like TEO one did. Um, if you own MS 1.0, I would say this guy is on par with him. He's very similar. Like the reason I sold my MS 1.0 was that dude, he's just well, one. I didn't like the engineering at, at that scale. I thought I would, but I didn't, it was too simplified. Um, and, the, um, the plastic quality wasn't great. I, I, what the heck is that noise? Whoa. Sorry about that. There's some weird noise going outside. Um, but this dude is, um, he's probably at the same level of, of uh, plastic, but the engineering has vastly improved. Vastly, vastly, vastly. Did I say vastly? Has vastly improved. Um, and so this guy looks much, much, much nicer. Um, so good good job on them. Like when you start opening the arms, you're going to start feeling like, oh boy, this feels like a Magic Square product. Because 
They rely on these like really thin um, a bit connectors and things like that. And same thing with the inside of his windows. Oh my gosh. When you're flipping out the windows on the side, it is a nightmare. Because I'm just like, I feel like if I just bump it the wrong way, like it's going to break on me or something. But I mean, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, you know, hyperbolic, hyperbole, speaking of hyperbole. But um, I think I'm going to keep him. I think I'm going to keep him. Like, what else can I show you all? Like, you know, he got, he got like, you know, he can do like that full double knee bend. Um, I don't think he has a double elbow, though, does he? No, he doesn't have a double elbow. That's fine. I don't think he does, but it looks like he kind of has a joint here, but see. No, I'm not going to mess with that. Yeah, I don't think he has a double elbow. Does does MB45 have double elbow? Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So MP44 basically takes one up on that. So he can't do everything that he does, but he's also not $400. Um, yeah. 100 bucks. Or 120 bucks shipped for this dude. Am I chill with that? Yeah, I think I'm chill with that. I think I'm chill with that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I hope you liked the video. I don't know. I'm, I'm not very good at these. I mean, I'm just kind of like talking to y'all and just sharing my thoughts. And I don't do a ton of MP stuff. But I don't know, man. This guy looked good. And, um... Do I regret buying him? No, I don't regret it. Uh, but I do wish certain areas were a little bit improved. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they release this guy in like a zillion other colors because that's what, you know, companies do. And I wouldn't be surprised if they also improve some of the quality on this guy. But um, we shall see. We shall see. But overall, he's pretty nice. He's pretty nice. And you're trying to get into the MP game or just want a nice MP prime. Doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. Good shelf presence. Uh, good transformation, like easy transformation compared to MP44 and TO1 overall. Yeah, I would say he's not bad at all. He's not bad at all. Not a thumbs down, not a 100% of thumbs up, but if I had to do the thumb meter, I would be like, dude, look at my thumb, by the way. And like I could bend it back super far. Yo, what's wrong with me, dude? Um, I would give him, yeah, this is thumbs down, this is thumbs, uh, thumbs down, this is thumbs up. He's about a, uh, right there, which is not bad, which is not bad. You want to see something else? Check this out. Dope. Nuts, huh? Dude, I'm super double jointed. My finger just looks like there's no bone. I can also like bend my finger back like super far, almost to the back of my hand. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Especially those who watch to the end. Yeah. You all take care. Actually, actually, you know what? If you have watched to the end of this video, uh, one, kudos to you. May the universe bless you. And I would like to ask that um, in your comment, mm, I don't know, say something with the word square, square, okay? And um, come Monday, I will pick a winner and I will send you something nice. Cool? Um, yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.